Hey Kev, happy birthday man. <clears throat> so uh, we ordered you a bunch of equipment uh, for your gym at home. What I'm going to do today is I'm just going to go over some quick form for the equipment that we purchased. Um, hey Kev, we're gonna go happy over birthday, a man. squat with the Dynamax so, uh, ball that you have at home. We ordered you a bunch uh, of we'll equipment go over a sit up that you can do for with your the Dynamax gym at home. home. What I'm going to go over is kettlebell go over swings, some quick kettlebell squats. And for push the equipment that I'm also going to put together a series um, of workouts. We're going to go over a proper squat do. with the so Dynamax ball that you have at home. The, uh, we'll go over the sit up that you can do with uh, the Dynamax ball. If you have any questions, just shoot We're going to go over kettlebell swings, or an email, kettlebell and, squats. Uh, we can and do another push-ups. video for you. I'm also going to put together a series of workout more programs for you to do so you can refer back to the these okay, videos. Like, Alright, so first um, we're going to start with the squats with the dining uh, phone call. So I know you know how to do squats. We've done squats and, uh, tons of times before, but they've worked out. You, or um, we can just but the Dynamax ball is a little bit different. Um, <coughs> you want your hip flexor to go lower than your knee. Right, so, so first we're going to start gonna squat with the Dynamax ball. The Dynamax ball. So I know you know how to do squats. We've done squats tons of times before, but we've worked out. So it's tap, up, but the yeah. Dynamax ball is a little uh, bit different. With a normal squat, you, you want your hip flexor to go more, lower than your knee. Stick your so it's back actually you're going to come up where we have that. The Dynamax ball, if you're touching where we're falling back, where your heels, here's a little different. Stand back up. You're just going to come. So it's down on the ball with your knees uh, out, making tap, sure that they're always uh, over your feet. With your normal squat, your toes are going to be forward a little bit more. If they're not over your feet, you're going to hurt back. And you're up where we have that feeling that is in the shape of where we're falling. Back where your toes Here's a little dip. All of the load of your body is going to be down, down on the ball on your with your knees down. out, making so sure that they're always over your heels. Feet. That's real. Sit down. Your heels. Drive up. Because if they're not over your feet, you're going to hurt your up. Your your knees. Okay. And they're going to go over your toes. So then we have our kettlebell. And all of the load of your body is going to be different variations of the kettlebell. We're going to do the double hand kettlebell swing. your heels. And then we're going to do the single arm kettlebell swing. Sit down. Drive up. Kettlebell is very important. The muscles that you're working with the kettlebell, okay, are your butt. So then we have our shoulders shot. and your abs. I'm gonna show you so two different variations of the kettlebell. You're just we're gonna do the double right hand kettlebell so swing, <coughs> and then we're gonna get the lower back. You're thinking, kettlebell okay, swing. I'm going forward. Kettlebell is very I'm important. Trying to lift the, the kettlebell along with the with kettlebell, kettlebell Kev. Instead are you driving your your shoulders and your abs and using your shoulders and your abs? Feeling your lower back. Okay, so let's start doing it incorrectly. So if you're <coughs> feeling it in the lower back, you're thinking, okay, I'm going forward too much because I'm trying kettlebell to lift start the kettlebell up with okay. my back. You're going to crazy of this part of your arm, your tricep part of your arm, using your shoulders onto your, your ribcage. Okay, so reach let's start here. Grab the kettlebell, take sure. it off the ground. This way. Okay, head is always up. You're going to just get it there. swinging. Kettlebell now starts we're not going to squat. Okay, you're going to crazy over this part of your arm, your tricep part of your arm, into an onto your ribcage. Right, we're going to swing that, and then we're going to pop your hips up. Grab the kettlebell, take it off the ground. Pop okay, head up. is always up, and you're going to just get it swinging. Now we're not going to squat deep like we were before. Squeeze your butt. We're just going to bend the knees into a let the kettlebell position, swing. Right, we're going right to swing your legs, and then we're going to pop your hips up and lift the kettlebell. That's the proper form up. of the kettlebell. And I'm going to show you a way not to do the kettlebell. Okay, this is what happens when we get really tired. We grab the kettlebell, squeeze your butt, and we let the kettlebell down. swing, swing up. right between your legs, down. and swing up. When you do it like that, the proper form you're of the really going to feel the shoulder your weight not because the weight kettlebell. of the kettlebell okay? is what happens when we get your body really tired, tired, right? We and then that's the kettlebell. Your body. If the we, kettlebell's moving, down, it's going to come all the way back. Down, it's going to really put a lot of strain on your vertebrae. When you do it like that, the vertebrae you're like really going to feel it in your lower your back, back because the weight okay, of the kettlebell is forcing your body forward, right? And then you should tense your body. If the kettlebell's moving, it's going to come all the way back. Same concept. really put a lot of strain on your vertebrae. One arm is going to be out. Just to counterbalance you know, the kettlebell. That. Okay, uh, like this. Again, next variation we'll do the single arm kettlebell swing. Because you're not so trying to double arm. arm. It's a swing. No, we're doing single arm. You Same concept. Right. For right. swing. One arm is going to be out just to counterbalance the kettlebell. Here, like this. Again, then you want to switch your hand. Couple. Swings in because you're not trying to muscle it up. It's a swing. And you want to pop your hips forward and swing. And if switching the hands in the air, <clears throat> you don't feel comfortable with doing it first, then you want to switch bring your the kettlebell hands. down to the ground and then we'll just do it again, right? So I'll show you it both ways. Here. And if switching the hands Remember, in the air, your glutes as tight as you don't feel comfortable with your doing hips it first, your hips forward. Just bring the kettlebell down to the ground bring and then the we'll just do down, it again, right? So I'll show you it both switch ways. Hands. Here. Come up. Couple swings. Drive forward. Remember, squeeze your glutes as tight as you can, and your hips, pop your hips forward. Bring the kettlebell down, and rest. Switch hands. Again, we never ever want the kettlebell to come way down here, so that our body is facing down. 
because coming up is where we hit that vertebrae. Okay? Kev, now I'm going to show you a squat on the Dynamax okay. wall. You never ever want the kettlebell to come way down here so that our body's facing down. Because squat is the same. You're going to hold the kettlebell right. by the horns okay. up here on the lower part of it, okay? Kev, now I'm going to show you sure a squat that the kettlebell on stays the Dynamax close to your body with the kettlebell. When it comes far away from your body, just like the kettlebell squat swing, the same. If it comes far away from your body, your body is going to lean up here on the lower Once part. The body of it, okay? lean forward. Make with the sure in front that the kettlebell stays close, close to your body. This should not hurt. When it comes far away from your body, just like now the kettlebell swing, eyes are always If it comes far away from your body, your body is going to lean forward. Once the body starts to lean forward, come back up. Load in front. Tap. Then it starts to hurt the back. Tap up. This should not hurt the back at all. Kev is this. Elbows are down. Eyes are always up. Okay? You're gonna squat. If you feel like your hamstrings come back up. Your legs are a little too tight to get down all the way. Up. Stretch them out first with a simple hamstring. What we don't want touching your toes. Kev is this. Right? Because the right inflexibility of the leg. If you feel like your hamstring part of the thigh. And your legs are a little too tight to get down all the way. Now stretch them out. You can get down low like this you're touching your toes, even if you're tight. Right? Because just the tight hamstrings and hip flexors. Inflexibility of the leg doing it and the hip flexor, which what will happen is you'll come here like this. And you have the tight hamstrings and the tight hip flexor. You can get down low like this and you'll come in here like this. Again, the weight will come forward, hamstrings, and you'll come on your toes, prevent you from doing it properly. Because what will happen is always, always, always come here like this. Whatever you're doing is squat. Tight hamstrings and tight hip flexors. You're driving to the heels of the feet and you'll come in here like this. On the way down, again, the weight will come forward. Because again, if you're not on your toes, not using your leg, you're actually pushing off the toe. So always, always, always remember whenever you're doing a squat, it's so important. So we went over the proper squat with the Dynamax wall. On the way down, uh, squat and on the way up, well, because and again, you're not, you're not using your legs, leg, you're actually swing. pushing off the toe. And now I'll show you a proper push-up. Push and okay. Kev, I know you know how to do proper push-ups. So we went over the, the but proper squat with the dynamax wall. Okay. Uh, so hands squat on the, the ground, dynamax wall and the kettlebell. Make sure that your hands are right the kettlebell under your shoulders. And now I'll show you a proper push-up. And under your chest. Because what happened, Kev, I know you're trying to do proper push-ups. We put our hands forward. But You're I just like want this. to go over everything with you again, okay? And we come down here like that. So hands right? on the ground. That's flat on the, on the ground. ground. A lot of strain on Make your sure shoulder. that your hands are directly so you under your shoulders. Isolate the primary muscle, which is your chest. Under your chest. And the lower part of your body, which is your mat. Put our hands forward. Okay. So hands here down like here. This. Feet are together. And we come down here like that. Feet apart. Right. We're gonna put that's gonna put a lot of strain on your shoulders. Squeeze your legs together as tight as you possibly can. Isolate the primary muscle, which is your chest. Your chest to the ground. The posterior part of your body. Breathe. Your back. And notice your body is still straight. Hands down here. Hips aren't dipped. Feet are together. Right. Sometimes we put our feet apart, but we're gonna put them together. And we're gonna drive your body up. Squeeze your legs together as tight as you possibly can. Down again. You're gonna drop your chest to the ground. What you Breathe. don't want to do, and notice your body is still straight. You don't your want hips up. aren't dipped. Worm it down. Right. So we're going to come down, down worm it back and then we're going to drive your body right. up. If you're having that trouble with that, position. just drop to your knees. Down again. Do one. Drive it back up. Two, so you feel it. You don't right. want to do. And then get Kev back this. up here. You don't want to go down as low as you can. Worm it down. But never ever and worm go on your knees to do the entire exercise. If you're having trouble with that, make sure drop to your knees flat so you get that. Do one. And two, so you back, feel so it, in that full right? Back. And so then get again. back up here, up and then go down right? as low as you can. Feet but never ever thighs go on your knees to do the down. entire exercise. Okay, all you only go on your knees to make sure the back is Sometimes, Kev, we do this, feeling, right? And we don't want to do that. Back, so so in that all the way up to so get full flexion of that chest muscle for you. Okay, feet back, thighs tight, drop down, all the way up. Lock your arms all the way up. Sometimes, Kev, we do this, right? We don't want to do that. Want to come? All Perfect. the way up to so full flexion of that a, chest muscle. Uh, variety of different exercises there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a handful of programs, written out programs, so that you can bring to downstairs to the gym with you and look them over. Perfect. And just so kind of use this a, of, uh, as a variety of different tool exercises there. For form. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together, together a handful of programs you written out here and so, so you can bring to check out the form. Downstairs to the Kevin, gym with again, you. Kevin, if you need anything else. Over, and I'll just kind of use this and my cell phone as number. A you guy can just give me a call for phone. And we'll, uh, because some of the things are. All right, bud, happy birthday. Yeah. Is this? And uh, he'll come back well here and baby. So you can just check out Julie. I said hi. Ken, again, hi. Kevin, if you need anything else, I'll give you my email and my cell phone number. And you just give me a call and we'll, uh, and we'll create more for you. All right, bud, happy birthday. 
And I hope you're doing well. Yeah, we forgot to sit up. Tell Julie I said hi. Thanks. We're gonna start here. We're gonna come back. Take the take the Dynamax ball. Bring it behind your head. Touch the floor. Come up. Touch in between your feet. Yeah, we forgot to so sit up. An extension of your abdomen here, here and a contraction of your abdomen. We're gonna come here. back. Make sure your feet take stay the, flat. Take the Dynamax ball. For you right now. Bring Ready? it behind your head. Touch the floor. Tap. Come up. One. Touch in between your feet. Two. So it's an extension of your abdomen. Three. Here. And a contraction four. of your abdomen here. Make sure your feet stay flat. I'll do about four for you right now. Ready? Tap. One. Two. Three. Four. Alright, brother? Good luck.